My name is Mark Fredrickson, I'm 35 years of age. I started fundraising about four years ago. I lost both my grandparents, my granddad fathers to forms of cancer. My wife Vicky lost both her granddads to forms of cancer as well. It gave me a, a big incentive that I wanted to help out cancer charities and cancer sufferers themselves. Good girl. And again. I, my first event was a, an ab sale off the Transporter Bridge 200 foot with uh, the at the time Commonwealth Boxing Champion Jamie Arthur. Then my next event after that was a bean bath challenge. I sat in icy conditions outside a store um, in a bath of beans. Then I went on to, uh, I organised a bike ride out, a motorbike ride out where I had 50 motorbikers. We all met up and I took them on a tour around Wales, all, all the mountains. Straight after that, I travelled around all the boxing gyms in Wales and I met 13 um, high-ranked boxers. They all signed the glove for me and I auctioned the glove off uh, for, for, the, for Macmillan. Um, those are the kinds of events that I've previously done. I spent a few months uh, driving around raising money for the local cancer ward, the Children's Cancer Ward in Cardiff in the University Hospital of Wales, where I've got um, current British and Commonwealth champion Lee Selby and British champion G Gary Buckland who have jumped on my side helping me out with my fundraising and um, the, the day should be really rewarding for everybody okay we're just going into the hospital now all the last four months of fundraising um, running around collecting donations is all going to be this is a moment we've been waiting for um, unfortunately they've just confirmed that we can't do any video footage on the ward there's not actually many children in at the moment because they, a lot of them have gone home for the, maybe a day to spend with their, their parents. Um, but we'll take as many photos we are allowed to take, as many photos as we can, um, handing over the gifts. And today's the day we've been waiting for. Okay, we've just come out of the ward now. We've just took up all our gifts in total, just to let everybody know who helped us out. £2,300 worth of donations, including televisions, DSs, computers, computer games, games, drawing box, everything that the children could want. Um, we met two or three children. Um, it was quite emotional, but very rewarding to see us hand over the gifts. Um, we met all the staff who were very, very grateful. The parents of the children explained how grateful and appreciative they were. Just to hear two single parents up there telling us how rewarding all them gifts are going to be and the use that their children will make of them has been brilliant and it's been worth every single minute. The hospital visit went brilliant. It was a, it was a privilege to go and meet the children and the staff on the ward just to see 
how amazing the staff actually do and how beneficial the uh, gifts that I took actually were. I've been working on uh, my next event which is called Lap for Latch. It's going to be at Newport Stadium. I've got a meeting over the stadium tomorrow to go and meet some of the, my volunteers who are helping me out. It's going to be a, a lap of the stadium with, um, I think we've got 12 celebrity sportsmen involved. Um, three of them are British champions. We've got Newport County football players. Some of their top players were turning up. And we've got four brilliant singers who are coming over and spending spe spe the day for me. And we're going to have a lap of the lap of the athletics track with some children off the cancer ward or, or children who've been treated on, on the cancer ward. I'm hoping that'll be a big day. Right, we're here at Newport Stadium. It's only 10 days until our event, Lap for Latch. Um, this is our final time now that we've got to come over to the venue and just finalise a few things, exactly what's going to go where, just before the, we actually get to the day. Hi oh, David, I'm Mark. How are you okay. Mark? Yeah, You're very welcome. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Um, the event we've had, which is on the 14th of October, Lisa may have mentioned it to you, the cancer charity event. Mm -hmm. Here I got, first thing I need is, I need 15 chairs and may have 30 chairs for VIP boxes, which I think we could use over in that area. Right, okay. Yeah, um, will we get 30 over there? We will, won't we? It might be a bit cosy, but uh, yeah. we'll squeeze them in. Put yeah, another okay. table in there. All right, then that's great. Also, we've got some spare chairs over there, as you see. Great. I've got, like I said, I got, I got four, um, four singers. Who, uh, two of them are under record labels, so they're pretty. We're expecting a crowd in just to watch them. Good. How tall is the stage? How tall is the stage? Because they've asked me to find out everything they possibly can. It's, uh, I should think, um, 20, 20 inches high. Yeah. 24, perhaps two foot. Also, they've asked me to find out what equipment is here already. I don't know what, um, well, I can see speakers. That's we've got, we've got speakers and we've got uh, the DJ box over here. This is my final, my last chance, so we've been working on this event for six months now. Mm -hmm. So it's my last chance to get over here. I've been asking Lisa for months, but she's been busy and we've never ever had a time. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, because I've been busy as well and she... Um... Certainly be as well for Mr. Holborn to come and over and look. If I give you my number... Okay, yeah. Just just bring it and I, can, I can come and open up. Oh, as long as you don't mind. No, I don't mind. That's what I'm saying. So no what I'll do, plans. what I'll do, it's bigger than what I actually thought, mm. is ideal. So what I'll do is we'll have a stage set up by here. Yeah. Yep. Boxing VIP is there. Mm -hmm. um, we got so we got we got two girls who are working on the door. Um, well, I've got a lot. I've got security over here as well actually, but I've got two girls working on the door. Where would I? Where could I set the table up for them? Would it have to be inside? Do you think? I should think so. Because we're charging if, five pounds to come in, look. If you're um, if you're going from there, you can extend down here, can you? Yeah, of course. Yeah. That, you know? Yeah, I think that would be fine because, like, I've got Nathan Cleverly. Yeah. Um, he's not hundred percent sure whether he can come because he's training for a fight at the end of October. What we normally do? Yeah. We have a table across there. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Can that door open now? Just a quick view. Yeah, sure. The idea of it is called Lap for Latch because I've got mm -hmm. children off the cancer ward right. who, are, who are going to be our special guests. And they, they are actually three of them who have been treated for cancer. Two of them are currently um, being two of them are currently being treated with um, one leukemia, one is cancer, and um, the other one has been cleared, but she's been she's been. Um, Spoiled and treated by latch, right? You know, so okay. that's why I cho choose in latch as a child. Let's see if I can get this in the in the county program. Oh, that uh, would be brilliant! We've got a game against Ebb's Fleet next Tuesday. James Watts is coming as well. All right, James. Yeah, yeah. and if we can possibly get in the in program for Tuesday, or uh, that would be brilliant if you could help us out in any kind of way. And we'll get these displayed up here because people are in and out all the time. Yeah, that's great. That is, Ennis. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hi, Dave and Mark. Anyway, great. I've got a sheet here actually with what time? Two and a half hour slots, is that right with you? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah.
maybe we can have a coffee for yourself. Um, yours is actually 20 past one and four o'clock. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah that's cool. It's all tight. I got Demi Harborn's dad. Do you know Demi Harborn? She's actually a female vocalist. She's yeah. um, she's completely well known. She's always in the Argus. Her dad is actually a sound engineer and he's going to be working supporting us all day. Okay. The only thing is, this guy, the volunteer in here now, I wanted you to see what equipment they got in there, if that's all right, yeah. And uh, we've got a stage being set up by right there for yourselves. Um, speakers all around, anyway. Lights, so we're all sorted. But I don't know whether you want to have a look behind there, David, see what. See what kind of um, is there anything at all that you may use? Yeah, he's got three mic slots. I'm trying is. But yeah, if we can send mics through there, that's got three mic inputs. So I could send the guitar and foot stomp through the amp. Just bring an amp, and it, as long as that'll take three mics, I'll be fine. I would know. Because otherwise I've got a thousand watt PA system, but it's massive because of everything it? down, yes. How big is it? Um, two 500 watt speakers about that I offer oh, for, yeah. and a mixing bit about that big. Ideally we want to use all this in here mm. then, wouldn't we? Yeah, I mean I could bring it down if needs be, but if we can send through mics through there, uh, three mics through there, then yeah. it'll be fine. I was Lee Dye Jones, one of the acts who's performing at Lab for Latch. We've got four in total. Uh, we've got three v uh, female vocalists and we've got Lee who plays a guitar. Um, we've got two of them, or one of them, sorry, Demi Holborn, she's under a record label. Her dad's assisting us on the day. Um, and the other two, Lee and Shelley and Marie Evans, they, they're regularly in um, involved in music festivals so they're pretty well known and i've got a young girl she's only 16 it's like an opportunity for her um, she's been out and her dad spent a lot of money on it on this event for her he's bought a new guitar and new equipment because it's like a, an opportunity for her to try and progress somewhere or get a name out there i'm just going to have a look around the stadium now for how we need the layout so i've got a marquee being set up 27 foot marquee which is going to uh, take a little bit of stress off the amount of people that may be inside at one time. I've got a bouncy castle which is being set up, which I need to be over. That the morning, the Sunday morning of the event will be pretty chaotic because a lot of bodies running everywhere who are the people who have volunteered their help. Um, I've got five marshallers, I've got three security, I've got two doormen, I've got four litter pickers. I've got five bucket collectors, so I've got quite a lot going on and we've got an hour slot between half past nine and half past ten basically to get them all in and set this place up for how we need it, ready for the doors to open, which is, like I said, half past ten. I've got a bouncy castle being set up, like I said, which is a 20 footer, so that needs to be um, <laughs> blown up in the short space of time that we got. I've got stalls, which we're going to place our stalls in the concrete, any concrete area, which is outside Bar Amber. I'm assuming if it's only, if we've got, if it's only going to be like a pasting table kind of stall. So basically, we've got enough room there. I've got two cars, Lightning McQueen cars, which are going to be pushed into the into the grounds. And, and if, any, if you've ever seen Lightning McQueen cars, they're red animated, um, cartoon replicas and they're going to be parked here and the owners are going to have bucket collections uh, donations for children to have their photographs in the cars I've got a clown which is the, the dad of all the clowns he is a good a real good entertainer he's giving his services I'm paying for him to entertain the children for all day and um, there's quite a lot going on and as you will see the morning of the event it will be pretty chaotic The day before the actual event, Lap for Latch, was stressful. It was very stressful. I was on my phone most of the day and driving around, getting um, everything that I needed in preparation to make the day special. Going from just 
the food preparation to the, the, the clothing that I had to get, the, the high visits that I had to get my volunteers, making sure all the all the performers turned up on time, making sure they knew where the venue was, um, making sure the sports stars were treated um, well and, and that they all knew where the venue was. It was really stressful. Please don't. 
Show me. 
What have you enjoyed the most about the day? Um, <laughs> Did you like pulling the tickets out? Um, what's, what's been your favourite music today? Who's been your favourite? I believe I can fly. Enjoyed it? Yeah, it's been a really, really good day. I think it was a good turn out as well. So yeah. And it's stay dry for the lap, so it's all good. I decided to perform is uh, because charities um, are very close to my heart. I do a lot of charity work, um, and the fact that it's for little ends and having nieces myself, I know that if anything happened to them, um, I wouldn't be able to forgive myself. So the fact that I'm helping out someone else's child um, means a lot to me. Well, the kids have enjoyed it thoroughly, but you know, I just can't get over the amount of stuff that Mark's done for the charity, it's been excellent. Yeah, Max, Max really worked hard and uh, really put a lot of his own personal time in. Uh, I'd obviously like to personally thank Mark as well, um, but more than that, I think it's sort of we're starting to build a following now, and if they can continue to give us their support, I think uh, I think we'll really move forward with this and uh, yeah. hopefully uh, more in the future. The event as a whole, lap for lap, she went brilliantly, it, it, just as I expected. Um, all the boxers turned up, the football stars turned up. Uh, we had quite a few spectators. We raised in the region and after everything was paid out, we raised I, I, a check for about 12, 1300 pounds for the council ward. The entertainment was brilliant. Everybody loved the, the singers that I got involved. Um, the whole day was brilliant. i just like once again to say a big thank you to everybody who've helped me out with every single event from the people who've spared £2.50s to the people who've donated like £200 towards televisions and without them the none of my events would have taken place and I can just reassure them that just to see the children on the cancer ward and the smiles on their faces that that money has really gone to good use and I'd just like to thank them once again.